Good day, everyone. Welcome to MAPE 5. Let's get ready to learn and have a great time together. This lesson is all about the physical responses of the body to stress. Here are pictures of different individuals. What can you say about each picture? What do you think they are feeling? In your opinion, what might be the reason behind their strong emotions? Before we proceed to our lesson, let's unlock the meaning of the phrase body reaction to stress. What do you think body reaction to stress means? Body reaction to stress is when the body reacts to stress, it triggers the response, releasing hormones to get you ready in meeting the challenges or demand in your environment. Stress is the natural reaction your body has when changes or challenges occur. It can result in many different physical, emotional, and behavioral responses. Everyone experiences stress from time to time. You can't avoid it. But stress management techniques can help you deal with it. Physical response of the body to stress are the following. Number one, anger. Anger means a strong feeling of being upset or mad. Example is when you feel angry and you raise your voice when someone blames you for something you didn't do. Number two is difficulty in breathing. Feeling like it's hard to catch your breath. Example is when you feel nervous and your breathing becomes fast or shallow after a surprise quiz. Number three is muscle tension, meaning our muscles feel tight or stiff. Example is when your shoulders or neck hurt after a long day of worrying about your grades. Number four is troubled sleeping. This means finding it hard to fall asleep or waking up often at night, for example. You can't sleep well because you're thinking too much about a family problem. Number five is stomach ache, meaning pain or discomfort in the tummy. Example. Before performing on stage, your stomach starts to hurt because you're nervous. Number six is exhaustion. This happens when someone is feeling very tired or worn out. Example is, after a stressful school week, you feel like you have no energy even if you slept. Seven is sadness. This is the feeling of being down, unhappy, or wanting to cry. You feel sad and don't want to talk much after arguing with a friend. Number eight is illness. Getting sick because of too much stress. Constant stress leads to headaches or catching a cold more easily. Last one is difficulty in concentrating. This means having a hard time focusing or paying attention. For example, you can't finish your homework because your mind keeps thinking about a problem at home. As a student, why do you think it's important to understand how our body reacts to stress? How can this help us in our daily life? It's important to understand how our body reacts to stress so we can recognize the signs early and take action. For example, if we feel a headache or stomach ache before a test, we'll know it might be caused by stress. This helps us stay calm and try ways to relax, like deep breathing or taking a short break. By managing stress, we can focus better, feel healthier, and avoid getting sick or too tired. Evaluation. Directions. Choose the correct answer from the choices. Number one. Which of the following is a physical response to stress that affects the muscles? Letter A, sadness. Letter B, anger. Letter C, muscle tension. Letter D, illness. Number two. What physical reaction might a person have if they feel overwhelmed and tired due to stress? Letter A, exhaustion. Letter B, anger. Letter C, difficulty in concentrating. Letter D, Sadness. Number three. A person who is stressed might find it hard to breathe. This is called letter A, trouble sleeping, letter B, difficulty in breathing, letter C, illness, letter D, stomach ache. Number four. What is a common effect of stress that occurs at night and affects rest? Letter A, trouble sleeping, letter B, Anger, letter C, sadness, letter D, muscle tension. Number five, stress may lead to discomfort in the stomach area. 
This is known as letter A, illness, letter B, sadness, letter C, difficulty in concentrating, letter D, stomach ache. The answer key can be found in the description link of this YouTube video. Thank you for your participation. Don't forget to apply what you've learned in your daily life. See you in our next lesson.